Kevin. I'm Katie. And I'm Theo. And we are the head girl and head boy for 2020 and 2021. And welcome to Welsh High School. Hi there, I'm Mr McElwee, I'm the head of maths. Uh, I'm in charge of a department of nine teachers uh, in, in the school and they're all subject specialists. Uh, I think as a, as a department we sit down at length and speak about how we're going to explain the maths to the kids so we all agree on the same methods and the explanations and if you looked at a typical lesson in our department they would be quite similar. So each lesson has is split into sort of three really, a recap five where we recap five questions from perhaps the previous lesson, the previous fortnight, even the previous year. So that counts as revising as we go along. The main part of the lesson is explaining the topic for that particular lesson, which is what we agree on as a department. We think really carefully how we're going to explain it. There'll be lots of question and answers, and it's important that the children get stuck in there and get their hand up to answer and ask questions. We then get the kids to practice via a worksheet or a textbook or, or whatever and we give them the answer straight away at the end of the lesson so they get that feedback whether they've understood it well enough or not. To go with that we've now got a website which one of our teachers Mr Thomas has developed during the last year. It was really useful during lockdown it's called A Star Learning where the explanations are on there as well and you can teach yourself them if, 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 a, if an interested parent or if a, if a kid misses a lesson or doesn't understand the lesson. There's also the work we do in class on the website if they were to miss, as I said before. The homework's on, there's some quizzes. It's a really useful website. We'd love you to take a look at it. It's called A Star Learning again. In terms of the outcomes for the department, um, we've had 85% plus four and above or in old money C and above for the last, I think it's the last 14 years since 2007. If we look at the overall progress of the department, it always has us in the top three or four schools in the county. So we're dead chuffed with that. And you know, we do really well with it by the kids, we think. Thank you for listening. Cheers. Not Newton, so we can measure forces in Newton's, but that's not the other word that we use for size. There's a scientific word for size. Hi, my name is David Goodman. I'm a science teacher here at Elsham High School. Um, I've always had a fascination with sort of the universe and the way it functions and how the world works basically and I think that naturally led me to sort of want to learn science and study science and you know later on in my life now um, teaching it gives me the opportunity to sort of you know carry on learning my subject but also to you know help other people learn and understand it and also develop the same um, joy I suppose of what science can bring. Um, in the science department here, we've got a really greatly experienced team. Okay, Between the teachers, there's over 100 years of uh, teaching years of experience. Um, they're wonderfully charismatic. Uh, they've all got a love of teaching and learning. Um, and it's an incredibly successful department. Um, year on year, we achieve you know, excellent outcomes for our students. Um, and they often make you know significant progress for the five years that they spend with us. Um, students love their time here at Elgin High School. Uh, the children um, really enjoy their lessons, really enjoy science. And I think that's partly because teachers are just you know, so invested in their students and also in their subject. They're, you know, in our department, we have some teachers who are real es experts in their subject. Many hold PhDs, um, and that really helps them to bring their subject to life. The staff um, consistently go above and beyond what is expected of them you know, to ensure their students really achieve as best as possible. And there's a real, real emphasis on, you know, helping students to achieve. Everyone can do well in science. Okay? And a lot of people sometimes struggle with science, think it's a difficult subject, um, but ultimately here we know, we know that everyone can become and can be a great scientist. And we show that everyone in the GCSE can choose to study separate science as an option. Um, and that involves then obviously taking three separate GCSEs, biology, chemistry and physics. Um, and it doesn't matter what their ability is going into that. Everyone by the end of the course will achieve you know, really, if they put in the work and they listen to their teacher's advice, we'll achieve really great results at the end of that. Hi, I'm Oscar and I'm science captain at Eldrin High. Uh, I love science because it helps us to find out more about the world and offer solutions to many of the world's problems, such as climate change, hunger and poverty. In my most memorable lesson uh, here at Elsham High Science, we dissected a sheep's eye. Uh, it was a good way to see what we'd been studying and provided an all too vivid image of uh, the eye. 
Hi, I'm Jadzia and I love science because you get a real sense of satisfaction of not only learning uh, what there is around you but why it exactly exists. Um, science is really interesting for me because it gives me lots of essential math skills and problem solving skills that are needed in everyday life. Um, it's also helping the wider community so I love to study it because it's always helping improve education and help us uh, improve global challenges. Hello, I'm Betty. I enjoy science because it helps us understand everything from why electricity works to why we're even on this planet. My most memorable science lesson was actually last lesson when my physics teacher got really excited about uh, positrons. She was really excited. Um, how will science help us in the future? Well, science is the future. There's no choice in that. So the more we understand about science, the better it's going to be. After year 11, I would like to go on to study sciences at A-level. I think I'm going to do chemistry. Um, science benefits our world because we can understand our problems and how our world works so we can fix them more easily. From memory, on those five commandments of how to be the best might you could possibly be. Hi, I'm Miss Bates and I'm really proud to work in the English department at Elsham High School. I'm very lucky to work with a team of specialists in language and literature in a range of different areas and we're all very passionate about helping the students to develop their vocabulary by exposing them to new words and complex ideas. In Key Stage 3 we study 12 whole texts so before they've even got um, to Key Stage 4 the students are confident they've learned a lot about literature and language um, across the last thousand years. We love nothing more than seeing students become confident in speaking. We have public speaking competitions where they practice their rhetoric and we have creative writing competitions where they are able to express themselves freely. Um, as a department, we consistently score highly in comparison to other areas of the country and other schools. But what we're most proud of and what we enjoy most about the job is the enjoyment and the fun that we have in our lessons. My name is Poppy and I am English captain. English is my favourite subject and the thing I am most passionate about. I love English as it allows me to use my imagination when reading and my creative side when writing. It's also a great way for me to express myself. Since being at Elsham High School, I've been very lucky to have read and studied many amazing books and my all-time favourite would definitely have to be Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I adore the characters from Ralph's determination and leadership to Simon's intelligence and kindness. At Elsham High School, we are also very lucky to have such a supportive and enthusiastic English department who are always encouraging students to be the very best they can be. We are also lucky to have this amazing library with its wide range of authors and books. Uh, hi, my name is Abby. I'm one of the English captains. Um, probably the thing I enjoy most about English is the capacity for creative freedom and creative writing, but also how it gives you the chance to express your opinions and feelings on like so many topics and you can really develop your skills in that. Um, the books we do are really interesting, so you're always going to find something that you want to talk about. It's on page nine. Can you see um, that you have got a table on the Treaty of Versailles? Um, there is a summary of the terms that we have just been through. Welcome, my name is Mrs Nicholson and I am a history teacher at Elsham High School. We are a department of three teachers who are all very passionate about our subject and aim to try and engage and enthuse students um, into a genuine interest for our subject, which goes beyond the classroom. History is a fascinating subject, which students will have a real chance to develop some long life skills. And although we focus on learning about the past, lots of it gives us an insight to our present day. As a department, we really recognise the importance of exploring history outside of the classroom as well. So we offer lots of trips for all of our year groups with particular highlights to the battlefields in Belgium and to Berlin. I enjoy history because you learn about the interesting events that created the world we know today and develop a deeper understanding of how and why, and of course, when they happened. You will learn about many interesting things at AHS, such as the Battle of Hastings in 1066, 
the evolution of modern medicine and the First and Second World War. You may also have the opportunity to go on history trips, such as a trip to Ypres, where you visit the war graves in Belgium and see what conditions in the trenches might have been like. Studying history will give you many skills that will help you in your future. For instance, when looking at historical sources, you will try to determine how and why certain events happened and what their effects were. This will help you develop your skills of analysis, which are vital for many jobs such as politics, journalism and economics. Another brilliant opportunity for History Department offers is the trip to Berlin. It really helps with the History GCSE because it ties in both with the Cold War unit and the Weimar Nazi Germany unit. So it's both a lot of fun because you stay in a motel and go around all different places, have a chance to buy lots of stuff such as very snazzy bucket hats. But it's also really educational and really helpful. So for example, you visit Reichstag, which is the German House of Parliament, the Brandenburg Gate, uh, and so many other places such as the Berlin Wall, well, what's left of it. And so if you do get an opportunity to go on this trip, last year it was year 9 to 11, I really recommend you do because it is great. Hi, I'm Max and this is Josh and uh, we're going to talk about why we love history so much. We just love it so much because it's, um, it's just quite interesting how you cover all the topics of many years of, the, of really our country's history. And especially when you cover stuff like the First and Second World War, it's quite an interesting, quite an interesting topic. I love history because I think it's important that we learn about the past and so we don't make the same mistakes in the future. And uh, yeah, I find it quite so interesting so much I like, collect bits of it, history like my, uh, my paratrooper helmet. And both of us collect models and paint and build them as well. Hello, I'm Emmy. I love geography because it is an important aspect in life. There are always changes, changes in this world, meaning there is always more information to be learned. This ongoing knowledge is so important because we get to learn about the world we live in today. Even though we may not be able to go anywhere right now, geography brings these amazing features of our mysterious Earth to home. Some of my favourite lessons in geography is when we get to use the wonderful resources that we have to help aid our learning. This can be ranging from going outside and evaluating our surroundings, to taking a trip to the broads and learning about tourism with your friends. I believe Geography at AHS will help me strive for the best possible future. Hi, I'm Lee Chia and I'm a Year 10 student. I'm taking Geography GCSE this year. This is because I'm really passionate about the subject and love learning about the world around us. One of the things I love about Geography at Elsham High School is all the opportunities that they offer. For example, I was lucky enough to be one of the students who took part in the Iceland tour in March this year. We got to experience things like waterfalls, ice caves, geysers and so much more that you wouldn't get to experience in class lessons. This gave me a really great foundation of knowledge for the GCSE course this year that I'm taking. Bonjour, um, I'm Guillaume Ravas, I'm the uh, acting head of MFL and uh, I love teaching my subject. What I love the most about it is to be able to share uh, the language that I know so well, the uh, culture of the country where I come from and uh, hopefully transmit that to the students I teach. And we try, with my wonderful team of teachers at, uh, in the MFL department, we try to, uh, to, to, to convey all of those things, which is about culture, it's about food, it's about understanding the language, and hopefully producing the language in a spontaneous way. And that starts in year seven for some students in year five and six, and all the way to year 11, where we prepare for the GCSE exam. Uh, of course, we prepare for the exam, but we try as much as possible to um, instill a sense of, uh, of reality, which is the reality of language, the culture of France, etc. So we really love, and we think it's so important in, in this day and age, where the world is getting smaller and smaller, uh, to, uh, to talk about culture and borders and, 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 you know, the continent on which we live in, which is the, the, the continent of Europe, and uh, the fact that with a language, an extra language, or two or three extra languages, the world just opened doors, more and more doors, and it's so important. So this is something that me and my colleagues are really, really uh, strong at. Um, in terms of exams, we, uh, we are uh, slightly above, I think, uh, national average. We did a really good set of results in the past, uh, two, about two years ago, and uh, very on par with what we did this year. And uh, we regularly have uh, students uh, taking French A-levels, 
We had about eight or nine uh, students last year. So far this year we have four students and counting. We are hoping to get uh, even more. And uh, every time we have a student taking French A-levels uh, is, is, is a bit of magic for us. It's, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. And we hope that most of the students that we carry from year 7 to year 11 uh, get a bit of a sense of, of what languages are all about. So uh, really proud of our department. Personnellement, j'adore la française parce que j'aime étudier les langues, donc ça m'intéresse. Je pense que c'est important d'étudier les langues car ça ouvre l'esprit et c'est un bon défi pour moi. Hello, my name is Helen Duckett and I am the head of the small but mighty religious studies department at Aylsham High School. Uh, we have a team of three teachers uh, who are all passionate about our subject uh, and we very much enjoy what we do. Um, at our school, the students all study RE all the way through, uh, as is required by law. At Key Stage, two, uh, key stage 3, uh, we have students um, looking at our new locally agreed syllabus for Norfolk, which is really exciting. Uh, opportunity to look at religions and worldviews um, in, uh, in ways that perhaps we haven't thought about before, through philosophy, through theology, and through social science. And at Key Stage 4, we follow the AQA Religious Studies DCMC. Uh, we have been lucky enough that over the last few years we've been able to run some events um, outside of the classroom as well, in collaboration with, um, with our local parish church. Uh, and we've uh, run a, a soul space uh, tent out on the field, uh, which was there for a week, uh, very, very popular with the students to pop in and out of uh, and spend some time thinking about things maybe they don't think about before. Um, and also our Christian Festival of Faith, or Festival of the Christian Faith, uh, which we ran um, as well, where we had guests coming in, telling us about their beliefs, telling us about their faith, the opportunity to ask question after question after question, um, and to really think about some of those big things that otherwise they might not have a chance to think about. So thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to seeing some of you very soon. Hi, I'm Joe. I like RE because it helps us to understand more about different cultures and different beliefs in the world, but also it helps us about like the universe and we get to understand more about how and almost why things were created. One of my favourite lessons was when a group of Christians came in and we got to ask them different questions about why and how they became a Christian and it was really useful just to understand like their perspective and their point of view as to why they wanted to become a Christian and what made them follow that religion. Um, I think it will be extremely helpful later in life because it, it will help us to be more respectful and know more about other cultures if you're ever going to another country or if you just meet someone that's following another religion then you already know more about that so you can be more respectful to them. I'm Emily C. Wright and I'm Head of Business Enterprise and Futures here at Elsham High School. Students will take part in core enterprise lessons from year 7 through to 9 and as part of their GCSE option programme, they are able to opt for business GCSE. The topics we cover include all different aspects for students to be able to deepen their core knowledge and understanding in business activity, personal finance and economic understanding. As part of Futures, we have a Level 6 Qualified Guidance Advisor and Careers Coordinator. They offer independent and impartial information, advice and guidance to students to support them in their post 16 choices and beyond. We have a strong department team of specialists who are passionate about business, the economy and current affairs. Our GCSE results consistently perform above national average. Our ethos is to take learning beyond the classroom and to that end we have a group called the Young Chamber and they organise and lead business events within the school that bring business and education together to benefit all. They organise and lead challenges for students they run a shop called Pencil Case, which sells stationery to the students and also business breakfasts for our local business owners. We provide opportunities for excellent educational visits. We've been lucky enough to go behind the scenes at Aviva headquarters in London, the Bank of England, Selfridges and Lloyds of London. We organise a biannual residential activity to New York, where we partner with Columbia University. We visit Rockefeller Centre, One World Trade Centre and Wall Street. Hi, I'm Evelyn. I'm Business and Enterprise Captain. At Elsham High, you can do enterprise lessons in Year 7, 8 and 9. These lessons teach you so much, ranging from learning the 
the characteristics of a successful entrepreneur to running your own small business during Enterprise Week. If you enjoy these lessons in Year 7, 8 and 9, in Year 9, 10 and 11, you can opt to do Business GCSE. The content is very similar to Enterprise lessons, however it goes into a lot more detail. I took business in Year 9 and I achieved a Grade 7 and I hope to go on and take business at A level. We also have a group called Young Chamber and we help run and organise business events at school and we also go on lots of amazing trips. The enterprise lessons here are so helpful and useful and teach you so many life skills and we hope to see you here next year. Hi, I'm Luke and I've chosen computer science this year for my GCSE. I like computer science because I enjoyed the logical aspect of it. It all just seems to make sense. Computing is a major part of our lives. I think that knowing it is a great bonus for our future. I would say my most, my most memorable lesson uh, was when we did uh, scripting for small programs. And it was fascinating to see the behind the scenes of all the different things we see. Computing uh, opens up so many possibilities for us because computers are everywhere. It's in our fridges, our ovens, our microwaves. It's in almost everything. And I think that having a better understanding of computers would give us a better understanding of the world around us. It would greatly help us for our future. Post-16, um, I would like to uh, aim for A-levels in computing and the sciences. And, uh, hope, and I hope to go, for, uh, go to university and continue to study computer science. I would really recommend it to everyone because it really is really fun to do. Hello and welcome to Elsham High School Art Department, probably the best department in the school. Hello! Hello. 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 Hi. Has anyone got any questions they'd like to ask me to help me? Charlotte? What's it like being an art teacher here at Elsham High School? It is, it is crazy at times, but it is lovely being an art teacher here. What I love about teaching art is that students get really absorbed in what they are doing and the focus and the concentration. I like the fact that you are creating, um, getting to creating very personal projects and exploring personal interests. Any other questions? Oh, and I wanted to say that we do three... GCSE options here, we do textiles, we do fine art, and we do graphic communications. Yes? What's your favourite, like, your favourite thing about being an art teacher? Well, I'm passionate about art to myself, so I think it's wonderful for me to do a job where I am um, being able to share my own passions for art. All of the art teachers in the art department also complete their own work at home as well. So for me to be able to share that passion and to see a student suddenly take on board something and make progress and to see the joy in their faces when they've actually um, uh, achieved something is, is, is amazing for me as a teacher. To see someone um, yeah, just gain some kind of understanding or make progress with their work and take joy from it is the most pleasurable thing for me as a teacher. Uh, hi, I'm Ben. I'm doing art GCSE, and um, I really like art because it's you know like um, allows me to be creative at school. You know, um, a lot of like the sciences and maths, there's not much creativity going on. So I look forward to art when I get to do it. Um, I particularly like doing graphic design, which I did in year nine and I hope to go on to college and do graphic design at A-level. My name is Caitlin and I'm a graphics captain at Elsham High School. Graphics is an artistic subject where you don't have to be good at drawing. You can express all of your ideas on computers using software such as Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. I enjoy graphics because I can express myself in creative ways in any way that I want. I really enjoyed all of my lessons in graphics, but I particularly enjoyed creating edits of the photographs that I have taken based on my key concepts and aiming towards the final piece. This subject will really benefit me in the future as I aspire to become an architect or interior designer as I am intending to go to, the, to City College and partake in an architecture and interior design course, then go to Norwich University of Arts 
and carry on to hopefully my future career. Hello, I'm the textiles teacher at Elsham High School. I also teach art at Key Stage 3. Um, with textiles, it is very based with fabrics, um, drawing, painting, being really creative. And you'll learn all these skills at Key Stage 3 with the art teachers. We're all able to teach you new skills and teach you how to draw, be really confident, and hopefully it's a lesson you enjoy when you come to join us. Hello, um, I'm Rose, and I took part in the textiles QCSC last year. I love the course because it gave me an opportunity to show my uniqueness and passion for textiles through my creations. Um, it boosted my confidence a lot, great teacher, and overall I loved it. Hi, my name is Miss Allen. I'm head of music at Aylsham High School. I think one of the most important things is that all of the students have fun while they're learning. So we all have opportunity to sing, play the ukulele, do the keyboard across year seven and year eight. When it comes to key stage four, we're unusual as we do both GCSE and BTEC. So the GCSE music is more theory, listening, learning about the history of music. BTEC is much more hands-on, so learning how to perform better, keeping practice diaries, learning how to plug in all the equipment and set up for a concert. And I'm really pleased that lots of our students have gone on to take music further. At Aylsham we have usually lots of clubs. So at lunchtimes we have brass club, woodwind club, singing club, ukulele and guitar club. Then we also have lots of individual instrument lessons, including on drums, guitar, singing, piano, classical things, so your um, violin for example, uh, brass and woodwind, so everybody has lots of opportunity to learn an instrument. Feed the cat when you come in, she says, go to school, rubbish day, football rained off. I'm Mrs Martin and I am head of drama. Uh, we are now filming in the drama studio. We have two drama studios but this is the main studio. Drama is a very popular subject. For GCSE, there is a big uptake of kids wanting to do this subject. The lower school drama, they work in on a rotation basis, um, usually about five or six weeks before they then move on to another subject. Drama is, is very popular with all the kids. Um, it gives them confidence. It gets them to work together. Uh, in lower school, they learn all the skills they will need for GCSE. GCSE is, again, teaching the same sort of skills. It's confidence, it's getting them to work together. It proves them vocally, physically. Drama results have been very good over the years. It will often enable children who will often do well with a more practical subject. I like drama because it it's got a really good social aspect to it. You can really build your confidence and make new friends and just really enjoy yourself because you can take on a role and not worry about being embarrassed or being shy or being scared because you can, you don't necessarily have to be yourself, but you can really find yourself through drama. Well, sort of skills that it can give you, it's not only just confidence, but it's also how to speak in front of people, sort of how to articulate your words more. Uh, sort of how to make friends, how to communicate properly, how to sort of plan out ideas and also sort of write down what you're thinking. Well, when I came to Elsham I hadn't really had much plans in drama. I sort of only done like sort of school plays and I wasn't in any sort of extra drama clubs. But now I've done drama GCSE and I'm drama captain and I've been part of the musicals at school. Uh, I sort of plan to carry on playing in sort of plays and stuff at my sixth form and I really hope to, you know, carry on with drama. Hello, I'm Mr Sweatman and I'm here in our Nurture Centre at Elsham High School. I've been working here now for 11 years our Nurture Centre has been here since 2015 and I'm lucky enough to work with our Eagles across year 7, 8, 9 and into Key Stage 4 as well. We work with students uh, that come to us uh, from our local primary schools and also outside of catchment to support those uh, who may need a little bit of extra support socially and emotionally. We follow the Key Stage 3 curriculum and I work with our students with our wonderful Nurture team for around about 60% of their education in our base, which is a really safe, fun and enjoyable environment. We've also got a fantastic opportunity to work in our garden uh, within our nurture centre. Uh, we do things like outdoor learning, we work on gross and fine motor skills. 
A really important part of our nurture provision is how important it is to work alongside families. Families are welcome in, we support them, and we actually even do some family learning sessions where you work alongside your students too. If we can build that rapport and work together, we really feel is that we've got every opportunity to engage our students in our curriculum and also our school environment. A huge part of what we do here in the Nurture Revision is all about transitioning into our mainstream school. Whether students are ready in year seven, year eight or nine, we ensure that there is a pathway to success into key stage four. We give students the tools to be able to work well, work hard and be successful across our school. Okay, so I'm Sally Spalding. I'm the head of the food and nutrition department here at Elsham High School. Um, food and nutrition is a wonderful subject to teach. Uh, we're teaching kids a life skill as well as teaching them something that's going to earn them a GCSE. And it's also something that they could use, a vocational subject, that they could use very profitably um, in the future. Um, my background is actually as a science teacher, but I've been working in the department. I'm in my third year now working in the department. Um, the move recently has been so that we're looking at a very scientific take on uh, the food that we're cooking. So I have sort of provide that science experience. And then the other two teachers in the department, Mr Bridgman and Mrs Elwes, have both got practical experience working in the hospitality industry. So Mrs Elwes currently runs uh, with her husband um, a, a pub and restaurant in um, North Norfolk. And um, Mr Bridgman, um, until very recently, was working in the hospitality industry working for Jamie's um, Kitchen. Um, we, uh, at Key Stage 3, we do a lot of cooking. The students cooking pretty much every lesson um, and we're, they're using a variety of skills and we're trying to train them to become better chefs and to become um, the sort of people who can cook for a family, cook healthy, nutritious meals with a, a view to thinking about things like seasonality and provenance um, and um, sustainability. Um, and that carries through all the way into GCSE, where and the level of science sort of increases over the um, course of uh, the three years that people will be studying food. Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm catering captain. I really enjoyed catering for the practical and theory. My favourite thing about catering for like lesson we did was the International Food Day. We got to create and try different foods from different countries. Hi, I'm Logan. I'm studying DT Timber. Hi, I'm Joshua. Uh, uh, in year seven, we did CAD design and, and 2D design in year seven and eight, and a bit of practical hands-on. And then in year nine, we did entry-level design and technology, which was wood and metal. And then we went into year 10 with Mr. Whitingsmith, and we did GCS, GCSE metal. And then in year 11, which we are now, we're doing GCSE timber. Hi, I'm Isaac and I'm the Design and Technology Captain. In the DT, we uh, start off by researching different materials and different ideas about what we will do for the project. Mr. After Weldon and Lakes to manufacture our chosen design, and then we ended up doing a summary of everything we did, a summary of all the materials we used in our book. Hi, I'm Lily May. Hi, I'm Lucy. And we're from Aquila Racing, Elsham High School's F1 and Schools team. F1 of Schools is an extracurricular activity you can choose alongside DT where we race and make a scaled F1 car. Um, we write portfolios about our journey making the car and also do, perform verbal presentations at the same time. Um, we make pit displays which are seen here but also big ones for um, bigger competitions and we get sponsorships such as um, Danger Gate and ProDrive have sponsored us. Um, so when we compete, we go to the national finals. We were last year at Airbus, which is in Chester. Um, we travelled there for two days competing um, with Cobra Racing, which are Ocean Heights' other F1 team. Um, but this year we have competed at Sprouston High School for a day for the regional finals, where we came first place professional team. Um, we're now heading on to the um, national finals for this year which are taking place very soon at, um, well, they're online, but it was going to take place at Comp. Yeah. Good, do a touchdown. Okay, so this is GCSE trampolining, and we have Action Man um, to show them what to do. So he can demonstrate height, he can demonstrate a touch jump, and 
they are doing really well. This is their first lesson to show us how they're getting on for GTSE. Hello, my name is Tom and I'm the whole school sports captain and I enjoy PE because I'm a very sporty person and at the Elstrom High School facilities has helped me do many new things and learn new sports. For example, before I came to Elstrom I never played handball and now I've played some games on the handball team. My most memorable lesson in PE was when I took the Villarreal tour to Spain. It was very, it was amazing. This tour let me see what the life of a footballer was like. Hello, I'm Libby and I'm school sports captain. In the future, PE can help you in many different ways. It gives you lots of different skills. It gives you social skills as well as physical. PE can help you grow in confidence through taking part in different team sports like netball and football, by going to clubs. Also, PE can give you skills like communication and teamwork, which are absolutely necessary for a good future in all fields of work and you will learn in PE different sports and how to play them which you can use later on in life with your friends. Hello, I'm Mr Claxton, Head of our PE Department. Uh, as a department in school, we're very passionate about PE and the benefit it can give our young people. Uh, during your two hours of lessons of PE a week, we uh, aim to ensure all our students improve their health and achieve their personal best by providing enjoyable, high quality PE lessons. Our department has a wide range of specialisms. We teach the traditional sports like football, rugby, netball, hockey and swimming to activities like volleyball, handball, futsal and yoga to name but a few. Our sporting facilities are exceptional and second to none in North Norfolk and beyond. We are very lucky to have use of the sports hall, gym, grass football and rugby pitches, swimming pool, tennis courts, netball courts, 3G futsal pitch and our brand new 4G multi-purpose pitch behind me. These are available to use during lessons and for our clubs after school. AHS has a strong sporting reputation and we run the competition hub where local schools come to us on a weekly basis to use our facilities to play competitive sport. Our sports teams are really successful and our level of participation is unrivaled. We also offer biannual national and international sports tours in netball, skiing and football and recent tours have taken us to Austria, Italy and Spain. We look forward to welcoming you to the high school and benefiting from the opportunities our department can provide. Wiseman, I'm the DOV manager here at Elsham High School, have been for about the last 15 years now. DOV, Duke of Edinburgh Ward, um, is an amazing thing to have on your CV. You get to work with lots of other people, you go out on expedition, you will learn a new physical, a skill and a service. All things that you're probably already doing and that you will learn to develop on. You then get to go out on expedition where you go for two days and one night camping and you have lots of fun. We have marshmallows around the fire. Um, it's about teamwork and working together. I'm Betty. And I'm Noah. We are the Friendly Face Captains here at Aylesham High School. The Friendly Faces are a group of students who strive to make your time at school the best it can possibly be. We have a really good system in place so that if you ever need help, we'll be here. If you ever have any problems whatsoever, in school or out of it, you can come and talk to us and we'll do our absolute best to help you. At the end of the day, we and the teachers here at Elsham really care about you and making your learning experience the best it can be and the safest it can be. We were your sevens once, so we know how much you need help sometimes, particularly when you're still settling in. You won't have very many problems because overly, high school is a really positive experience where you find out who you are and who you want to be. But if you do ever come across any problems, we will be here. But occasionally these things do come up, which is why we are here and why Friendly Faces exist. So you can always come and talk to us, no matter what the problem is. Usually, uh, I'm not sure at the moment because of the coronavirus, but usually we put on discos and other fun events, which you can all come to. So just remember, the Friendly Faces are here for you, no matter what you need.